One of my favorite high holiday memories is on Yom Kippur afternoon, after we would daven in our shul, we'd go into town to sit with my Bubby and my Zadie. Bubby and Zadie sat in the very first row, in part because Zadie was a founder of the shul, but also because he was really hard of hearing. And I remember looking up at the bima, and the rabbi wore a long black robe and a big black hat on his head, and it was very, very serious. But all during the service for the time that we were there, my Zadie would look over at us and wink or smile or even make us laugh and it made us feel terrific. And to this day, I've always wanted to make sure that Shul was warm and friendly for families, a place where kids could have fun even on the high holidays. One of my greatest memories of the high holidays is listening to the shofar. Not only listening to the shofar, but feeling the shofar. I can so vividly remember as a little girl the dreamlike feeling in the room. Everybody stood still as the shofar filled the entire room. And I was fortunate enough to grow up in the shul that long before he was known as Kenny G, he was Kenny Gorlick. And he blew the shofar for us, and it was an experience that will stay with me forever. And even now, when I hear the shofar, I still have that feeling of awe that just carries me through. Shana. At my house as a kid, we always had a Rosh Hashanah Seder. So we'd start in the living room and we'd read a couple poems and readings, stories, and sing a couple songs and have a little conversation before dinner of Rosh Hashanah. And then at the end, everybody would blow shofar all together. We'd have a lot of shofars there, make a lot of noise. That is my Rosh Hashanah memory. It's the smells of Rosh Hashanah that are so important to me. The smell of brisket, the smell of Granny Smith apples and honey make me remember all of the family and friends that used to come over to our house as a kid. So to everyone in the Bethel family, Shana Tova, happy and a healthy new year. Happy new year. Shana Tova and Shana Tova and welcome home. Happy New Year and see you in Shul.